Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 35, and this is war number 11. And we're going up against an alliance called <laughs> No F's Given. Okay. Uh, let's see, who did they ban? All right, they banned Torch, they banned Ghost, and they banned uh, Hercules. All right. Let's go on in here, see what they got uh, planned for us. All right, they're gonna make me fight both times. So first one is Ultron. What is the global, unstoppable armor? Okay. So Ultron, Silver Centurion. Claire shouldn't have a problem with either of those. Just have to be careful because of unstoppable armor, of course. And then we got Doom as the first uh, mini. Uh, I think I'll talk with my alliance mates to see what they want to do about this Doom uh, on this node. Because, you know, we got some counters for him. He's not anywhere near as bad as uh, as Man-Thing on this node. <laughs> All right. But we'll see. I could even bring in uh, Nick Fury for him and just uh, take him out that way. All right. And then we've got Apocalypse. Okay. Um, Actually, Nebula could take uh, Apocalypse on this node. She actually is a pretty decent uh, option. And we've got... Uh, our boy, uh, Colossus, and, uh, ugh, hate fighting him, um, Mr. Fantastic, Claire can do those, and Omega Sentinel, again, that is, well, let me see, because I don't usually, um, fight her, uh, okay, It's consumed, okay. Bleed and poison, all right. So, yeah, I think um, Nebula could handle that fight as well. So, uh, I might do that. I might bring in Nebula. Uh, Nebula is actually good for two of those out of the three. Uh, many bosses here. So Claire, Nebula, and um, maybe Nick Fury. Yeah, that might that might be the play. Because Nick Fury should be able to handle that uh, Doom, no problem. And Nebula could handle these two. But we usually divide them up, but it's nice to know that I can bring in someone to handle both, if need be. Oh, all three, in fact. All right, I think that's what we're going to do. Nebula, Claire, and Nick Fury. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, so we lost the last war. But if we can win this war and the next one, we still have a chance to get to Platinum 3. All right. So you see who I'm going in here with. And I got a plan for any of you guys who still doubt Nebula. Let's see if this war changes your mind any. All right. But first, let's get rid of that Ultron. Now, uh, I thought about using uh, Nebula on this Ultron. And I could have, and I believe she would have uh, rocked his world. But instead, I went in with Claire, mainly because with Claire, I can heal back up if I need to. So she saves me a little bit of um, items. Uh, so if she gets hurt, it's not a real big deal. I can try to heal up on another fight. But she does do energy. Now, you notice that I used a boost that I don't usually use. 
Uh, it's because I just have a bunch of them, so may as well use them. It's, you know, the end of the season here. Uh, we have only one war after this one, so may as well do it. Now, this Ultron is awakened, which means he's going to heal up from uh, the damage he takes from energy attacks. And guess what kind of attacks uh, Black Widow does? Energy. All right, but he still gets hurt. He'll heal up, but he'll still get hurt. So we're whittling him down. You know, it might not be the best uh, matchup here, but as you can see, we're not having too much problems with him. All right, we're right back up to a special two. I love when I fight uh, champs that are immune. And then I did that. That was a mistake. Oh, was that a mistake? Uh, I lost track because I was like, yeah, we're doing great. And I lost track of his uh, evade timer and fired my special two right when he had his evade up. That was just my fault. But we didn't die. Um, we got hurt more than we needed to. That's for sure. All right. So next up, we've got Silver Centurion. All right. Not too worried about him. Uh, again, I could have used Nebula, but I decided not to. Uh, I honestly, um, I don't really care for Nebula's fight style, but it's so effective. And I don't think she's great for the, that particular node, um, node, uh, what is it? 20, but she is so good elsewhere and you're going to see that. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to, you know, save her because I had plans for her. So happy I took her to rank three, let me tell you. Uh, and I was telling my alliance mates that as well uh, after this one. And here we go with another AI, don't want to throw their special. And of course in war, where you, the time fought actually may make a difference, it might be the tiebreaker, that's really annoying. But we got him down, better than dying, let's move on. Now, here's node 20. Now. Nebula is already not really that great, in my opinion, for that node. And we've got Doom on that node. And he's shock immune. So you can't do that Nebula. No, no, no. You don't want that. Now, my alliance mate was going to take this fight. He actually has a rank four Nick Fury. And he was, you know, checking to see who was a good, you know, counter for Doom. And I'm like, Nick Fury. But then I looked and I said, I don't know you know, whether he is going to need his Nick Fury later on in his path, whether he's still on the life model decoy. I still can't tell that. I know people tell me how to tell. I still can't tell that. I just, I can't. Um, I don't know why. So I go in with my fresh Nick Fury, know that he is on the life model decoy, and I boost it up. <clears throat> As you saw, I have five out of five uh, in uh, Deep Wounds. So you can see he's just bleeding away, bleeding away, you know? And you usually do not want to have a long fight against Doom. He already slaps hard. And then Strike Counter Fury, he's going to have all those Furies. He'll smack you, smack you unconscious. All right? But we got him down. Even if he had smacked me, I would have just gone to the um, real Nick Fury. So... We took him down. I brought Nick Fury in for that fight. I didn't need to bring in somebody else like White Mags because I knew Doom was going to be able to, I mean, uh, Nick Fury is going to be able to take him out. All right. So I did not mess with that Korg. Tell you that. Uh, or that Mordo. Didn't mess with him. Uh, so I waited. Um, I actually gave uh, energy so that uh, one of my alliance mates could reach that Mordo before I went to bed. And then now, we've got Apocalypse. Not just any Apocalypse. This is a rank four Apocalypse. And this is node, uh, what is it, 24? And um, I'm like, you know what? I think Nebula would be good for this fight too. I mean, uh, Apocalypse is not shock immune. And Nebula is shock immune. So even... The one thing I had to worry about would be the uh, going unblockable after he hits me a few times into my block. And of course, with the style that she has, you get a lot of blocked hits. 
Now, this is a rank four apocalypse, right? So you can see here, I'm trying to, you know, avoid getting hit into my block as much as possible. All right, as much as possible. I'm pushing him back so that I'm not in the corner too much. You know, just trying to build it up. All right, had to dash back because he has such a long uh, heavy. You can see here, all right, power drain. So I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna be able to um, possibly get to a special two. All right, that's fine. All right, there we go. We put some shock on him. And look at his health just draining. Now, if I could have gotten to a special two, yeah, he would have been dead right now. But I'm like, that's fine. Look at my health. We're good. All right. So I'm building back up. One more of these should do it. All right. I love when he does that. But he went unblockable because he hit me with his block just before he did it. But that's what the indestructible uh, buff was for, uh, boost was for. Down he goes. So, yeah. Nebula, also very good for that node, depending on who's there. Shout out to Ghost Dog. I remember uh, he left a comment saying, hey, Nebula is actually also good for that node, depending on who's there. And I said, hmm, you know, Ghost Dog, you're right. And so I was like, I had a plan this war. Uh, and I knew they didn't want to deal with that um, apocalypse. I did, though. I wanted to try out Nebula, and she performed beautifully. All right, so this is the standard uh, fight um, against Colossus. We do have to deal with the Unstoppable every once in a while, but that just means we need to play it a little bit slow. Got to watch that timer. All right, and then boom, I hit my special two so that I didn't have to worry about the Unstoppable. Put that... Uh, Deep, uh, buff immunity on him. All right. Not too worried about any of his uh, specials. Still watching that timer. He's sitting there in the corner waiting for the timer. He got the armor up, but we didn't get an unstoppable that time. It's supposed to be a low chance. But I can promise you, if I was fighting him and hitting him, suddenly that low chance would have been perfect chance. Because it happens, I don't know how many times it has happened to me already. Very, very annoying. But he's down. Now we've got somebody that I really don't like fighting, and I don't like his animations. I just don't. Uh, I remember when they first showed Mr. Fantastic. I was like, why they do that? Why, why they do that? They made him look like, um, I forgot what are those things that's outside, you know, like the car dealerships and everything, that's waving in the wind and everything. And I, I know somebody probably was thinking that when they did the animation. Why y'all do that? I know some people love it. I just don't like it. Look, that, that his stun, and he's like, Ugh. I don't know why. I just don't like it. You know, here's uh, someone who's like the smartest in the world or near the smartest in the world, and they got him looking goofy. But, hey, Nick Fury, that's who I brought in. Bam, bam, bam. We don't have to worry about his evading. He ain't evading that um, bleed. And I didn't have to throw uh, any specials. Of course, I could have. I wasn't going to use Nick Fury for anything else. But it's good. I I will take Nick Fury up to rank four eventually. I just like him. Now, here's a fight I was like, I think Nebula can do this fight. But I'm not sure. And I wasn't used to fighting Omega Sentinel. So I'm like, okay. Make sure I, I heal her up because, you know, she'll probably take some block damage. All right. And I'm reviewing the uh, nodes here. All right. And then I go over to look at her a little bit because I'm just like, man, I, I don't fight her uh, often enough. And I wanted to see if there was anything I really needed to worry about. See, I'm looking all over there. And I'm like, hmm, okay. Um, we should be okay. All right. And notice something that boost that I put up earlier. Look at it. It's still there. That lets you know something. Usually I go to sleep and when I wake up, I'm ready to go. But everybody went quickly in this war. We actually moved fast. So on that one boost, which was what a six hour boost, I was able to basically get all the way through my paths. And now we're fighting her. And I'm looking, 
I'm watching the damage that she's doing into my block. And I'm like, okay, it doesn't look too bad. All right. And I'm just like, okay, enough of that. I hate being in the corner. I really do. All right. And here we go. We just need to... Uh, I, I just, I, one of the things that I was looking for was to make sure she was not shock immune. Okay. Um, and I'm almost at a special three here. And I'm like, ah. Oh. I'm like, okay, no. She didn't push me to a special three. But then she pushed me to a special three. But that's fine. Because that shock damage is the real deal. So I just pushed, I just said, okay. I hit the special three and the shock did the rest. Nice, not quite the way I planned, but it worked. Nebula, have anybody changed their mind about Nebula that used to like or didn't like Nebula and is now going, maybe I'll rank up my Nebula. Leave a comment below, let me know. Anyway, that was it for this war. My participation will be back and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back and we won. This was a crucial win if we wanted to have any chance at Platinum 3. We may not get Platinum 3. We have one more war after this one. If we win that one, it's still not guaranteed we're gonna get Platinum 3. Um, I believe we're currently in the top 10 on Platinum 4, so that's locked in. No matter what happens, we're going to get Platinum 4 minimum, all right? Uh, but this was a pretty pretty decent war here. Uh, everybody in my alliance played very well. We kept the deaths pretty low, um, and as you can see, we did really well. So... That's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. We got one more war. Uh, we'll see if we can win that one and maybe secure Platinum 3. Maybe if some uh, alliances get docked or something like that, we'll have an even better chance. Anyway, take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.